life in the Piedmont. It's been a bad week here. This is the week prior to Christmas. I have had a predator, and I know it's a fox that has come in and has wiped out my flock, but three. And not, let's see, where am I at? This is Sunday, so it would have been Friday night. It came back in, and my rooster, my rooster Stonewall just, he really fought a good battle, but unfortunately he, he did not make it. There's no remains of him except for all these feathers and everything, which is just really sad. This is the next morning and I've come out. My three ladies, I actually have, I have a big, huge dog crate that I use and I have them up the house until I can figure out exactly where and how this thing is getting in here. They will not be put back in here. I know this was part of the struggle. This was, these are all his feathers. It makes me sad. So I know this is, this is part of it down here. Um, the thing came in from here and what we can best gather is that he got taken out over here. This was this was all secured. I've, I've dug, and so somehow it just got out here and just taken out. Whatever this is, um, I've I've noticed the pattern that it feeds about once every other night. So I'm gonna say it probably has young pups that it's feeding. So I've had people offer to come out and trap it, but. Yeah, I'm just gonna, yeah, there's, there's, that's just, none of this is good what I'm looking at right now. So, I'm just, I'm very sad today. I have my moments and, you know, it's just part of homesteading, but in the six years, I've never had a predator attack in here at all. And, um, I don't know when I'll be getting more chickens. That's going to be a huge, huge choice for me to make. But I know that it, it's not going to be here um, anytime soon. It's not a choice that I'm going to make anytime soon. I've got three ladies left and uh, I just know I have a lot to clean up out here and get things secured for the winter. But I just wanted to share with you that, I mean, this is just, this is real life, right? It's just real life. Nothing, there's nothing I can do about it. My rooster did exactly what he was supposed to do, and that was pr to protect his girls, which he did. And I'm just sad. Because, you know, it's one thing when you lose an animal just to, like, death. But when you know it gets taken by a predator, it's, it's just really a different level of, of hurt. But this will pass. And I will move on. But my girls, the girls that I have left right now, I'm out here because I had to get hay for my goats. But the girls, the three that I have left, I feel, I feel so bad for them because they're just so, they're so scared and so nervous. The one won't even come up. She just keeps putting her head down and tucking down and just won't, just won't come up. And I think the saddest thing about this is that Friday night when my son got home, my neighbor had some extra center blocks out on his property so I went over to go get some and we, we put them around the perimeter of the hole that I had found. And I felt, okay, this thing cannot get in here. They're safe tonight. And I was wrong. I was wrong. But anyhow, I just wanted to share with you. It happens. I know that it's the circle of life, it, but it still hurts. <laughs> 
especially especially when you raise these things from baby chicks right and you love and nurture on them as babies and then boom but I get it the fox has babies I'm sure of it so I'm gonna go up to the house just fed the goats and my girls won't even come out of the crate, so it's kind of sad. They're so scared. I just feel so bad for them, but they're safe and they're warm, and that's all that matters right now. So, so just here, the what I take from this is just that I should have been better at securing it, knowing it had been several years, um, and I feel bad that I didn't, you know, I guess spot that hole but there's nothing that I could have done about it it is you know what I mean it's not like I didn't try so I just felt really bad but okay that's enough rambling I'm just rambling now so all right everybody I'm gonna go I'm home I'm getting in my driveway here and I'm gonna back it in so I need to hang up I, I was like I said I was out at the goats but it's been a hard week, just so you know. We will touch base soon, friends. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.